All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mod six to the sky, guys. We've done some uh, some pretty cool stuff around here. We got to show you guys here real quick. We went ahead and changed up this area a little bit, where we have items being uh, pulled out of here, put it into a drawer. Uh, these all have a bunch of uh, upgrades on them. So everything that goes into this chest will then go into this system, either. Um, through like that the blocks will go here because these are all locked um so if it's like a as you can see if it's like a chunk it won't go in because it doesn't have a spot to go here uh, but then once it does get smelted up here uh, it'll either go into this guy or this guy and then get put into the system here so if we look over at gold 3755 now it's a 3756 very cool all automated and then this is also our steel production so all we need to do is just grab some iron here like so uh, it will get processed up into the enriched iron dust and then it'll get it from the enriched iron dust into the steel dust then it gets pushed over here to the energized smelter and then we have steel ingots up here so we only have a stack it's only done at one time so yeah but that's been looking awesome haven't done a whole lot with power gen other than switch over to the superheating elements if you guys are wondering what that is just takes a lot of steel which is why we have the steel production some glass some osmium and then some copper and redstone and you get it so instead of the five heat i guess the five heat source that lava provides this provides 60 so we are filled up except for this guy now he's filled up. Okay. So we are, yeah, we're filled up on lava. We have so much lava. We don't even know what to do with. Uh, we will be upgrading these guys. And then also testing this guy out. So he produces 40 FE per, or RF per tick. This is the magmatic dynamo from uh, uh, thermal. Yeah, thermal expansion isn't a thing anymore, I guess. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> max production is only 40. But we do have areas to upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and work on that real quick because I'd like to see what we can do. And I've also consolidated all of our storage into actually just two diamond chests here. Uh, we had a bunch of items in there that we could move over into the storage drawer section. So I went ahead and did that. So uh, we don't need to worry about it. And then I also made a Paxel which is just a axe, a pickaxe, and a shovel all combined together into one tool. So it's fantastic. But uh, yeah, let's see about making those upgrades from thermal. Uh, so let's see here. Yes, the hardened integral components. <laughs> all right, so we need to make some invar. Uh, so we're going to need some some gunpowder, some bl the, the, the blaze powder, and oh cool very simple all right now we can make up those dudes super easy way to make oh my fire charges if you guys are wondering so we're gonna grab i believe that's nickel yep and then some i iron and we actually could just done that in our inventory but now we have over a stack of invar and then we're gonna save these for later on Okay, now we just need gold. Hey, you, get back my gold watch. So we're going to put those guys back. Um, yeah, we're going to use up all of the gold we have for the gears. Well, yeah, just 16. That's fine. Okay, and then missing the redstone and the glass. All right. So we're going to throw that guy in there and see if... Like, what kind of production we're getting. Now, this isn't going to be final because I would like to use the the Powell ones because I, I, like, I think they look cool. But I do have a design in my head that this might be good for. So, we're going we're gonna to check it out here. So, let's go ahead, make up... Oh, 16 of these guys. Holy heck, I was not expecting to make that much. But I guess that's okay. All right. So, one of those guys in here. Ooh, we doubled the power. So 80 RF per tick. Okay, let's go up another tier. I believe we have everything to go up to the next tier. Um, I'm going to move this because I'm sick and tired of get, like doing stuff around it. Yes, now we have access to the crafting table. And please do not mind the sound of freedom in the background. Uh, by freedom, I mean jets. All right, so signalum. Redstone. Oh, copper, silver, and redstone. Okay, that's easy. All right. Copper. 
silver, and then some redstone. Okay, we can make the signalum now. Okay, bam, look at that. Ooh, we got over a stack of signalum, very cool. Okay, yeah, and then just an iron ingot in the middle for the gears. Oh, this does require the previous tier, so I'm glad that we made a bunch of that. Okay, and then the re the way we're going to be getting quartz is we get the uh, nether quartz dust from sifting dust. Uh, so if we just throw that into an enrichment chamber, uh, we should be able to have a good time. So as you can see, yeah, we have the, the enriched iron here, what I was talking about earlier, and then we get the steel dust, and then it gets put into here. Then it just gets shoved up into here. So now we have 91 steel ingots. So cool. So how are we looking on power? We got things charging up. We are gaining some power here, but only in one of them. All right, yeah, it's producing 80 FE or 80 RF per tick. And then let's work on some electrum here, just gold and silver. Super easy. All right. Bam a lamb. All we need is the quartz. We got four, so we can make two of these guys. All righty, so let's take a look here. So now we have that. We're at 80 FE per tick, or RF per tick. We do that. Ooh, 120. So now if we do that. Yeah, we don't, ooh, we don't even need that anymore. So this is produced 120 RF per tick. Yeah, this that's the most gener, that's the thing that's generating the most power right now. So I'd like to see when that thing fills up with power with how quick it's filling up with power we're more than likely going to be able to do it again can we put two of these in here no nah, well, let's put two that's kind of sucky all right so that thing is good can we even get up to tier three that would be crazy because basically we've just broken open the pack so 10 glowstone and silver well we have everything for it let's give it a try Tin glowstone. Where's the tin at? Tin is here and uh, silver. Okay. So we can make up the lumium. All right. And then. Mm, this requires hardened glass. Um, oh, obsidian. Hmm, is there an easy way to make obsidian? Yes, yes there is. We can make it right here, okay. So we are going to do that. So if we just do this and that, we can break this guy. And all we gotta do is just put some water there and we can start automating obsidian. Very easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, bam, grab that guy. All right, so obsidian. Dang, we got a lot. That's 20 obsidian already, dang. Frickin' sick, okay, so now we can make it Hardened glass. So quartz dust and sand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snag some of this stuff here. We'll come over here and we'll build, build it. All right, so we got the sand. Let's make the stuff. Yes, perfect. All right, and then the endurium, ender pearls, diamond dust. Ooh, we gotta do the diamond dust. All right, we do have quite a few diamonds, and I believe we have the tools to turn it into dust. Um, let's see. There should be like a hammer that should allow us to do that. Let's let's test it out. We have the engineer's hammer and then the ore crushing hammer. And I don't know if the ore crushing hammer will do it. No, maybe the engineer's hammer? Nope. Looks like the only way to do it 
It's gonna be... Well, let's see. Let's go here. Diamond dust. Earth charge. A crusher. Pulverizer. Okay. Yeah, we haven't found, fought one of those guys yet. So it looks like we're going to need to make a crusher from mechanism. That's pretty easy. All right, I'm going to make that real quick. A special thanks to our friends over at MC Pro Hosting for sponsoring our modded and vanilla fan servers. You can play on both of those free of charge by joining our Discord server. Link in the description. If you need a server in the future, I highly recommend MC Pro Hosting. Use code Turtle Club in the checkout to get a 15% off your first month. More details in the description below. Oh yes, the sound of the Crusher crushing diamonds for us is fantastic, is it not? Alright, so other than we got the lead, we even have a few ender pearls. How many does that yield us though? Ooh, two. Okay. So we just need a total of four. Now the reason we have the um the emerald meshes over here is because at one point I did have endstone automated, and so we were crushing that and sifting it over there. Uh, and that did give us, I believe, six ender pearls. Oh, we actually have seven. So we just need four of those guys. Very cool. Let's go grab our crushed diamonds. Yes. And then we're going to grab some lead. Yes. And we will craft up some enderium. Very cool. All right. So all we need now is the lumium gears. We have enough for those. And we have... A resident integrable comparator thing. I'm a bobber doohickey. All right, so that guy's in there. Yes, 160 fe or rf per tick. So that guy's charging up. All right. So okay, this might be a, a good option here. Uh, 160 rf per tick. Now there are a few other things we can do in thermal that we're going to go ahead and try. They can be upgrades. Um, Let's see here. That's a tank. Okay, so I, I don't think that we can really add any more upgrades other than this. Uh, so 160 FE or RF per tick is the max, but we do, ooh, we're even charging up a third one. Fantastic, that is producing so much more power, it's ridiculous. Um, now getting like another one in here wouldn't be a bad idea, but then we're running into the issue with the cable We're we're not able to transfer like the power fast enough. We're not even using it fast enough uh, But this does mean that uh, We can start doing like upgrading the magmatic generators and stuff like that here because we do have the extra power or the mag magmator magmator. It's like a tomato All right Okay, so with uh, Obsidian Automated and we have Flint and Steel, I think we should try to go to the Nether and see if we can. Uh, the cool thing about the uh, this system here is the uh, Obsidian is 100% automated. We just let it run and it's good to go. Um, so we need a total of 14 of these guys, not 15. Okay. So we're just going to build this guy. I think over here is the best bet. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I misclicked. Is that, I didn't really misclick, it's that stupid mod that we have that does that. It is fine, we can break it. Ouch. Okay, so there we go. We light it. What does the nether look like here? Okay, so the nether is a void world. That is, that's okay. Because now we can do things maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Doesn't really hold much use as of yet, uh, but I think we could put some like mob farms there which would be pretty cool. All right, so for the remainder of this video, we're gonna be trying to get netherite scraps automated 
Uh, and the way to do that is by sifting through crushed netherrack. Uh, now, obviously, we're going to be using the, the emerald mesh here because it gives us the biggest yield. Uh, but we'll even get uh, rose quartz and normal nether quartz for it. So how do we go ahead and do this? Well, for one, we're going to need an auto hammer, which is pretty simple. Uh, but we're going to need to automate netherrack. And to do that, all we need to do is get a barrel, fill it with lava, and then click on it with some redstone. So basically, this setup here, uh, just using redstone. Uh, so actually, if we pick this up, well, no, I want to. I want to have it creating it at the same, like all the time. So we're gonna do it a little different. Um, we do have another superheating element here. Uh, we have quite a bit of bone meal available and some clay so we can go ahead and combine those together now we are going to eventually upgrade this to have much more of the crucibles uh, just but just for now uh, we will just have that many Ooh, look food so while that is going uh, we're going to need to make an auto hammer um, we have experience making that but do we have any diamonds over here we do not all right, so now we have all the needed materials uh, to go ahead and make this guy. Um, yep, there we go. And then the auto hammer is ours. Perfect. Now we're also going to need an auto sieve as well. One, two, three, four. And we're going to need some more wood. Do we have any half slabs so I don't have to craft more? Ooh, we got one more. Ooh, we actually have a sieve. We don't need to craft anymore. Perfect. All right, auto sieve. We're missing. Okay, yeah, we're just missing the iron blocks up at the top. No issue there. Auto sieve is ours. Perfect. Okay. So we got those two made up here, and let us see. All right. So the crucible should be done. Yes, sir. And where are we going to put this guy? I think we need to build a little area out over here. Uh, so we're going to be working on that here real quick. Okay. So let's build it out. Okay. So we're going to put the lava production back here. Uh, we're going to be basically stealing off of this because as you can see it's filled up so that we can actually use it um, just like so heat of 60 perfect we're gonna need some cables to get the pipes into there I hope I have some left I believe I do uh, I have one I mean I mean that works for now all right so that guy's there we don't have the item to configure that just yet oh that's a mechanical pipe rip we are gonna need that just like there because we're gonna be putting it into one of those stone barrels okay and then to craft the stone barrels we're gonna need stone like so all right just this guy here perfection okay we're actually gonna put that there right neck oh boy we need more though we need more pipes steel um okay so we can make some more of the mechanical pipes right meow um now we can put the this over here beautiful man we are running out of space okay and then to make the transporter is the ah wrong one Get out of there. Let's do that. Okay, we'll grab some osmium. This is what we need to do, like that. All right, there we go. Logical transporter. Bam. All right, so this will take items out of this guy, put them in there, and then we'll melt up the cobble and put it into the barrel. <clears throat> All right, and then we'll have the redstone storage be right there uh, so that we have easy access to it. 
like so, and then we'll just take the items straight out of here and put them into the auto hammer, which will be there. And then the sieve there. Whoops. All right, so items go in here, they get smashed up, they go into here, they get sieved, and then we'll have another storage, uh, we'll have to have a drawer controller. Because if we look at this, how many spots do we need? Well, like that, for crushed. With emerald, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically we need two of the, the two by twos. We have those, and then we need a drawer controller. Uh, not that guy, this guy with the diamond. We put all of our diamonds away. We feel dumb. Okay, so smooth stone. We have the smooth stone for it. Perfect. Uh, we have the drawer. We do need some nether quartz, though. Okay, two of those. Need six of those. We're gonna need some more smooth stone. That's fine. Okay. All right, so the only thing we need is a diamond. We should have one, yes. All right, drawer controller, get it crafted. Perfect. Okay, so this guy will go here. We'll place you and you like that. And then just one transporter like so. Now we need our, our handy dandy tool. <laughs> All right, and then the only thing left is really to run power to these two guys. So, bam, bam. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Ah, it's gone. Okay, perfect, place that guy low. Place this guy here. And then now we just connect him. Connect the dots, isn't that sweet? It's gonna get a little sketchy, don't worry. Bam, okay. So now these guys got power, beautiful. Like it never even happened. All right, so these guys have, we'll put the hammers in here. We just need to get the ball rolling when it comes to this. So to start the process off, we go there. All right, yep, we're producing lava. Now we gotta pull out of here. Lava's going in, pull out of here. As soon as it fills up, This should go in. Yep, we have nether rack. All right. Then that'll pull out, go into the hammer. And this will get uh, hammered even though there's no hammers in here. It will get destroyed. Okay. All right, so there we go. And then once we get a mesh in there for that, we should be off to the races. All right, so that's just gonna require a little bit of string. Nine string, six of you, we'll grab the six of those. Perfect. All right, and we're gonna need six iron and then six diamonds. Perfect, okay. So we'll go here, bam, mesh. 
Bam, mesh. Now I just hit uses. Perfect. Now we have our emerald. We'll put this guy in here. And we should see those go over. Yes, sir. All right, we need a little boost for this guy. Look at that, netherite scrap. Now all we need to do is do that, and then they'll be put over here into the drawers. So cool. Okay. So this is 100% automated, except for the redstone part. We still need to put stuff in there. But other than that, we just set it and forget it. If we upgrade, yeah, we have enough to upgrade here. Bam. If we upgrade that, it'll be quicker. Okay. All right, that should be good to go now. We should start seeing less and less um, cobblestone floating above because it's able to put it in faster. It's not going to request more because we it's like, bam, we already got it. So this process, we, we, only, we speed this up by increasing the amount of of uh, crucibles that we have so the more we go out the faster this will be uh, but other than that we are producing everything that we need now there's only one thing we haven't gotten yet in there uh, so we're gonna grab our key and lock the drawers and this way we won't have one item that uh, fills everything else up or anything like that so cool and we can speed this up too by putting the hammers in there, which we're gonna go ahead and do. It's kind of weird though that they don't take any damage. I remember them taking damage. I don't know if that's a like an overlook or something, but uh, I'm not gonna complain. Actually, we should check because we did just update this to the latest version and they are taking damage. Oof, I spoke too soon. I feel like an idiot. All right, yeah, it's gonna greatly increase the speed at which we smash it up. Uh, yeah, so the only thing to do is to increase the amount of crucibles and uh, superheating elements. But guys, we have automated netherite scraps. So cool, we're up to four already. Man, we can upgrade our tools. We can have a good time. We have one netherite ingot already. That's what we got. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Ooh, elytra blueprints, staff of ancient knowledge. Oh man, oh man, guys, the sky is the limit. Actually, the AFKing is the limit. Can we upgrade our all-in-one tool? Is that on here? Let's see real quick. <gasps> We're gonna do that right, right meow. Okay. Let's do that right now. All right, we got our another right ingot that we really didn't work for. But it feel good. Okay, rose cord. Yeah, okay. Um, at Nether, I didn't get now. We need the smithing station. I don't think we have one yet, which we can just make. Oh, that's easy. I forget. I always forget what that recipe is. <clears throat> the recipe. All right, smithing station is ours. Let's go ahead and put our all-in-one tool there. Bam, netherite paxel. Mmm, that is fantastic. Oh, yeah, look at that. 2009, that was a great year. Last year of the, or second to last year of the double O glasses. Oh, man, amazing. I'm excited. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button and check out the playlist that's about to pop up on your screen. Check out the playlist of the series if you guys are new. I think you guys will love it. Uh, you'll be able to see how we got here. But otherwise, I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.